everyone. This is Always App Left TD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how to fix an issue in Mac OS X Yosemite and El Capitan. This is an issue where when the user tries to reinstall or install a fresh copy of the operating system onto the computer, they then run into a message that says the installation may have been tampered with during download. This is very annoying and unfortunate, and I know that many people Google how to fix it. Most people, when they saw this error, would think that there was an issue and they might try to put a new copy of Mac OS X onto the USB drive and try again, only to run into the same issue. It's quite common and I've ran into it basically every time I try to install one of these versions. But yet the interesting thing is it's a super simple fix. I'm unsure why this works, but in most cases, all you have to do is change the date and time to the accurate date month, time, and year. I know this may sound too simple to fix, but yet most times it works and I'm going to guide you through how to do this. So here I am in the OS X El Capitan installer app. This computer does not have an operating system on it, so I'm trying to install a new one. So I'm going to go through the setup, select the disk, and install. And in a moment here, that we see the issue. This copy of the Install OS X Al Capitan application can't be verified. It may have been corrupted or tampered with during download. So in order to fix this, just quit out of the installer application. So you can just hit OK, and it will quit automatically. Then go to the Utilities menu up at the top and select Terminal. The Terminal application should open up. For those of you that haven't used Terminal yet, it's basically just an app that allows you to communicate with your Mac via code. So first of all, just type date, all lowercase, and press enter. You can see that it says the wrong date and time. It should be incorrect, as this is most of the time what is causing the issue. If it's correct, you might be facing a different type of issue, and this tutorial probably won't help. But even if it's one hour off, you should still try. Now, what you need to do is type date, all lowercase, one more time, then put a space, and then follow the order of values above. So you can see it listed Sunday, December 31st, 17 14 08 PST 2000. So that means that we will type the number of the month, the number of the date, the number of the time, and the year. Now there are some very important parameters that you must follow when setting the date and time though. First of all, you don't need to include the day, such as Sunday. Also, when you are typing the time, please don't include the colon between the hour and minute. And last of all, there are no spaces between the number values that we're going to type in. So you can see today's date is September 29, and the time is 9.19. So we're going to type 09, which stands for the month, because that says December. Then 29, which is the date. And then 09 again for the hour. And note that if the hour is in the afternoon, you're going to have to type the number in military time because the computer will think that you mean AM if you put a number below 12. And then 20 for the minute. And remember that the time is without the colon between the hour and the minute. And then finally, 20, 23. So now our command looks pretty good. So we're going to hit enter to run it. And boom, look at that. Friday, September 29, 9.20 o'clock, PDT 2023. Boom, we're set. So now we can go to the terminal menu at the top and select Quit Terminal. We're back at the OS X Utilities page. We're going to reopen the installer application. And I'm going to quickly go through the setup. and click install. 
and we're at the place where it would normally give the error. So let's wait. Let's speed this up. All right, so it's been about 15 seconds and it looks like we're not getting an error. You can see we have a little bit of the bar starting over there. That's really good. I'm gonna wait for the download to complete and it to reboot to the installing screen. I'll be back soon. Okay, so as you saw, it said zero seconds remaining. You can see the computer is restarting. The download completed fully. And now we are installing a fresh copy of OS X El Capitan onto this computer. So I really hope that this tutorial helped you and that you were able to get your computer up and running again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts and of course subscribe to my channel for more content like this. That's it for now and I'll catch you in my next video.